Hey hamsters, today we have another special academy where we will be educating you about the differences between a decentralized exchange, DEX, and a centralized exchange, CEX. After all, they both exist for the same purpose, helping buyers and sellers trade. But by design, each looks a little different. To understand the difference, let's nibble into the definition. Okay, let's go. CEXs rely on centralized order books and custodial wallets. This means users must deposit their assets into the exchange's control as an intermediary. They are also regulated by the governments in the countries they operate in. In contrast, the DEXs like EVI leverage blockchain technology and smart contracts for non-custodial trading. The difference is that this model gives users full control of their assets at all times. Yes, no need to trust a central authority. And of course, there are the benefits of market manipulation prevention and resistance to hacking. The main deal breaker in this case is that DEXs are in general, the keyword here is in general, more difficult to use than their centralized counterparts. Fortunately, there are exceptions. One example is Abby, which is a non-custodial limit order book decentralized platform for trading perpetual futures, hence the name Perpetual DX. Trades are settled on the Abby chain, an Ethereum level 2 blockchain powered by Arbitrum Orbit, what allows for communication between the Abby chain and other layer 0 supported networks. What? Okay, but backtracking a bit, aren't the access harder to use? Well, typically the answer is yes, Abby is said to offer a lower barrier of entry for first-time DEX users. As a DEX that offers perpetual futures often uses an automated market maker mechanism, AMM. These are a bit more complicated. However, an Abbey offers a familiar limit order book model similar to what's seen on CEXs. This means you can transition from CEXs to DEXs with familiar trading mechanics and precise control over trades. Hamster Combat is a partner with Abbey, which means a few extra benefits come along with it, namely airdrops. Users can redeem their airdrop claims onto Abbey directly. Once redeemed, users can either hold on to Hamster Combat position or take profit by converting a portion of their holdings into USDT. This USDT can be withdrawn to any EVM compatible wallet such as MetaMask and doesn't require know your customer verification. So your ID can stay in your physical wallet for now. But while your physical wallet, your digital wallet is open and ready for rewards. This is because Abby offers points farming to give back to users. Abby has launched a points program designed to reward active traders and community participants. Users can earn points through trading, referring friends and completing simple tasks. Then, as these points are accumulated for future airdrops, users get the added benefit of long-term participation on the platform. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and remember, hamsters have power. One for all and all for one. Bye!